Back on following the players to indie games for fun, what an awesome day to play some cool games and today we are going to play Halls of Torment once again. If you haven't played Halls of Torment, if you like ARPGs, I highly highly recommend it to get it. The game costs like $5 and it is a really entertaining one. I have more like 30 hours in the game already and it just keeps giving and giving and this is the right example for the video because today we are not going to check out any specific builds because I just recently unlocked the Sorceress which is one of my favorite class in all the ARPGs and other RPGs and the thing is that the character looks really really cool I tried it once, it was a pretty awesome experience so today I just wanted to showcase how it plays and you know, we just have a nice chat about it Let's check some items that I'm going to use and, you know, just have a great time because that's why we are here. So let's open the stash and let's talk about the items I've chosen already because I didn't want to bore you with me window shopping all the cool items that I have. So of course we're going to blast with the Wind Crown because to be honest right now we do not have something that is uh, kind of better for that character. Oh, we have the Ruby Circlet which is increase the damage and burn strength but I am just not sure about it, so let's let's just, you know, go with the nice attack speed that we all really love. I'm going to blast the Color of Confidence, which is increasing the damage based on the pickup range and uh, the enemies in the pickup range, and we are going to have a lot of enemies in our pickup range eventually, so that's going to strengthen our mid-end game stuff. About the rings, it's maybe going to be a little bit controversial and we will see if this works even, if this stacks together, I'm not sure. So if you are more knowledgeable than me in the game, which is most likely the case, could you tell me if this is a bad idea or a good one? Because I am planning to blast the ring of fire and the ring of thunder at the same time, which is basically the same ring. The only difference is this one makes it you know the main weapon into fire damage and this one it makes it into lightning damage so I'm not sure we are going to blast lightning by default because the chain lightning lightning strike stuff is the main attack of the sorcerers so I'm not sure if this even going to you know like stack or something but of course we have the set 50% electrified chance is uh, what we are aiming for with this one so Maybe it's going to be like, you know, a kind of like a rainbowish build. Not sure. We will see how it works. For the, you know, for the armor, I'm always blasting the blood so sure because, you know, it gives me some like safety, giving back some really nice HP on hits. Not sure if it's, if there are any other cooler, you know, armor in the game right now. We will see. For the shoes. I would say the movement speed is going to be great. I would, you know, I could go with the Firewalker boots, but nah, not, not this time. And, you know, the most maybe W or L take of this uh, specific video is that we are going to go with the Spellcaster gloves because A, we are Spellcaster. Two, it sounds really great if we, you know, kind of combo it. So when you do not use your main attack for two seconds, your abilities become stronger over time, up to 600... Hahaha, <laughs> no, <laughs> Freudian slip. 66,000.6%. So, what I'm aiming to do is not, you know, blasting uh, lightning, 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 and just, you know, trying to wait out, and at the right time, just, you know, cast this AoE like, uh, you know, lightning stuff. Maybe we die really easily. Who knows? And of course, just to spice things up, I'm going to increase the agony, or, you know, uh, not increase, enable <laughs> the agony on the Ember Grounds. And we will see if this is a good idea or not. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. Sorceress Ember Grounds agony increased, and we are disabling the auto attack stuff. Okay, nice. Flame strike. Oh. Wait a second. Okay. So, Meteor Strike or Frame Strike. It rocks single target melee attack that hits the closest enemy. May inflict burn on hit, damage and crit chance increases for every second the attack did not trigger. Let's go with this one. And uh, since we, you know, do not use, do not blast the main attack every single time. Oh, okay. That's, that's really, really brutal. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait and 
just cast it at the right time. And since, because, you know, it is much, much stronger this way, we will see if we can keep it up or not. Okay, we, the channeling, which is the force, is much higher than normally. So let's wait for the 66 and then blast it. And since, you know, the lightning is uh, crackling to other enemies next to them, we're doing like a nice devastation, getting through and uh, doing some cool AoE-like or not AoE, maybe like chain attack stuff. For next time I would say let's increase the flat damage because flat damage is always a great one. And you know, uh, letting a lot of enemies into our pickup range it ensures us that we have a really big extra attack value. I know this uh, this you know looks like kind of like a boring take because now we are not spamming those abilities, but you know this is more of like a tactical more tactical approach of the game. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe after a few minutes I will say no, that was a really bad idea because we are getting overwhelmed. This is this cannot be, you know, done because this is bad and uh, you know this is how we experiment stuff in games. What we need in my opinion is a really nice amount of uh, you know, base base attack damage and then we can do like really nice devastating blows into hordes of enemies. So let's increase the move, uh, you know, the pickup range. So the more enemies can be included in the range of ours. And yeah, the, you know, the melee stuff, the melee spell is really cool because in this case, uh, even if we are not doing like the big attacks, thanks to the flame strike, if we, you know, just get close, to the enemies, the flame strike does the work. Okay, not uh, devastating many enemies in a uh, really high speed, but we can we can have the safety, like you know, going closer to an enemy. That means uh, we can take take out a few of them until I mean uh, without accidentally getting damaged, which is a pretty cool one. I am really sure that the uh, the build is going to come online much better then we will have the next ability to blast. So we, we are just kind of like, you know, really tactically moving around, trying to get rid... I mean, maybe we should, you know, get rid of the boss first, because we are getting overwhelmed if I don't do that. So sometimes uh, maybe we have to turn off the tactical approach just a little bit. I mean, when we have bosses and when we have a lot of enemies around us. Okay, uh, let's go about some crit bonus. Okay, two bosses, in fact, so interesting, interesting stuff. Ooh, wow. That was a big damage. So how about some base health? So, of course, you know, the... The sorcerer is, or the, sorry, the sorceress is like a glass cannon, just like in other ARPGs, attack speed. If you get hit, uh, it hurts. But if you do nice damage, well, it's a, it's a really great one. So maybe we have to, you know, just restart the run immediately when I say this. Yes. Okay. That was a bad idea. Maybe, just, you know, just maybe, really quickly change the rings and give it to like a base attack damage. And let's see how it goes this time. So we are still going to keep the tactical approach. Flame strike. And, you know, try to kill as many enemies uh, with the hits as we can while we charge it. Okay. Got some range. Range is always good. So maybe it's not the best idea just to simply wait until we can, you know, pump it up to like 66%. Maybe it's a wiser idea to, you know, wait until like 20, 30 and just land a nice blow 
to decimate their ranks and uh, we can get like really fast levels to get more cool abilities also I'm just trying to move and get the first the first second ability that we will be able to use because for example the lightning strike would be a really awesome addition to our repertoire because it does really nice uh, you know single target damage to a lot of enemies simultaneously I wouldn't call it an AoE because it is not concentrated to a specific area but it's a really fast lightning attack and since you're doing lightning attacks and uh, we have this kind of like uh, fail safe stuff with the flame strike uh, you know let's see how, how it goes pick up range just to increase the damage stuff with the necklace okay there's a pentagram that we should really get so let's try to move around those enemies you know it's definitely looking like that the starting the beginning is kind of slow because we are trying to be you know holding on to the great you know infinite power stuff but we will see okay level six uh, how about some range once again and now we have the ability of course if we can just you know go there wow the flame strike is pretty brutal okay so we killed killed the guardian the elite that guarded the ability so I think we can kind of easily approach it arcane splinters I would say let's go with arcane splinters because you know they just fly around tend to do a lot of uh, damage to the unwanted enemies around us main damage of course we need this because the la okay free free wait wait a second three bosses at the same time no it's just a dude got out of range and uh, you know changed some places nice tactics by the way nice tactics okay attack speed I'm not sure if you know for example choosing block to like this character would be a good idea just to you know stay alive a little bit more and uh, have a fail safe and ooh, okay someone just hit me that's a problem but I don't think burn chance burn damage you know let's increase the burn chance because the flame strike is uh, doing a lot of uh, you know heavy lifting to the really close enemies critical bonus okay thank you 6300 damage wow that's a brutal one and we are only like level 12 so increase the lightning chance okay I do see a little magnet around us I mean maybe it's not around us it's uh, maybe kind of far away but maybe it would be a good idea to just get it ASAP okay just backstabbed us tricky one tricky mofo I guess Oof. I think it's like you know high high risk high reward stuff I do think that every caster or like every yeah sp every sp caster in games like this starts pretty mellow and then you know it's just getting uh, potentially much brutal as the time passes and it uh, you know it applies more like like other characters so meteor strike so we have two fire abilities to blast one is for like the close range one and the other is to decimate some random targets I think let's just you know if as close as possible without getting hit and try to get rid of that uh, clay man Oof, big damage they do big damage maybe it's because the agony 
is increased, I'm not sure, but come on. Okay, that was only gold, unfortunately. Awesome, pick up range. And now we're going to get, uh, you know, the magnet. If this is this is possible to, you know, get it because I do do feel like that we will get like three or four levels by default. Okay, next elite. It's not the big one who's getting you know like my toast. This one is just summoning skeletons. They're also really annoying ones, but. Uh, you know, it's going to be better. It's easier to take take care of. It's a pretty sinister one. Maybe it seems like if you enable agony, uh, the bosses will get if they get you know off screen, they immediately place uh, you know, change place and uh, just try to come after you from a different angle. That's an interesting one. You know, they could really easily solve the, the off-screen problem of the game. Hi, interesting, right? Okay, now I just have to finish this one. It is just too annoying. Oh, yes. And here's the adorability, of course. Okay, so area. Ooh, okay, and... Uh, I would say the Radiant Aura is going to be really, really helpful because now we have the, you know, as with the Fire Strike, Flame Strike, sorry. We can do nice damage in like melee range, but also the Radiant Aura is ticking. And it ensures us to deal more damage to the nearby enemies. Okay, is there anything we can, you know, get? Health, defense, no. We, we have all of these, so I am just going to get some nice XP. And uh, flame attack speed. Okay. Now we have the, the extra goodness, so a few levels are going to come in. Base multi-hit, okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Area, damage, and the truth movement speed is a crucial one for this build, but damage ability, but maybe a nice amount of movement speed is always good, but I think what we should really build on is, uh, is the damage amount we are blasting out. Okay, that looks really promising. The only thing we have to do is survive, and it's, you know, it's not that hard, but sometimes it's pretty tricky. I would say, let's eye the fifth ability, and let's hope that uh, the lightning strike is in there, because I think that would be a real nice complement for the... You know, the different type of spells that we have. Ooh. Okay, I basically lugged right into... Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's really quickly change another approach. And I'm just going to get rid of the gloves. And I think, I think, I think... With the strikes, nope. How about attack speed? I think it's uh, it's going to be a great one. Now we have some faster attack speed. I'm not going to turn off the agony. Because I think we need some... Uh, yes, flame strike. We need some uh, excitement here. This character plays really well and I just really want to showcase the potentials of this one. So maybe the trying to focus on the spell, spell caster gloves was not the best idea for the first time if we need some you know extra knowledge deeper knowledge of how the character works and then we can build around this 
But yeah, it felt like that, that potential of those uh, crackling lightning strikes that uh, bounces from one enemy to another was kind of lost because I was waiting to blast, you know, big. Then we blasted less than we could have, I guess. Um, they, they, there's a saying in Hungarians like uh, between how to, wait how to say it in English like from between two chairs under the table something like that so yeah it doesn't matter so uh, yeah the thing is that uh, seems like that you know blasting as much lightning strike as we can uh, in a short period of time is uh, pr proves to be you know much more potential than the Okay, let's wait for the big one. Yeah. Of course. I always have to learn by my own mistakes. Because... From my own mistakes. Because attack speed is always... The bigger the attack speed... The bigger the fun. In my opinion. And that's why I don't like 20 weapons in most of the games. Because they are just so, so slow. And I do know that they hit big, but... No, that's just not my style. And you know, fast, fast lightning strikes are really cool. And I really like how she holds his hands like a doll or something. Like you know, it's just, just dancing around, spinning around it, like you know, dancing. It's really cool. What I am really looking forward to in this game, and I know this is a pity thing to say, but some kind of skins that uh, we can change by you know winning different types of or completing different types of achievements and we will have like a uh, different looking armor or something because it would be really nice to have like cool level armor sets like you completed this and this um, with the character and now you can unlock the I don't know, Archmage armor for the Sorceress or just something, you know, came on top of my head, but it's always a cool one. I play, uh, maybe I play too much uh, Soulstone Survivors the last few days and I uh, grinded a Paladin to like level 100 and I have all the stuff crafted and it just felt really good. It just felt, you know, I... I achieved, it felt like achieving something, and it's pretty awesome. And the weapons are not just cosmetic, uh, they have different types of abilities. I'm planning to make a few videos on Soulstone Survivors, but the thing is, I want to make kind of like builds, you know, just to not just, okay, this is the XYZ character, this is how it plays, because there are different, different types of stuff that you can play with them, so. I just want to make like specific kind of builds that uh, working well, like a full lightning paladin, whatever. You get uh, get the idea. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Just got you know. Uh, got to the wrong or wrong side. Here we go. Okay. So the lightning strike is here. So we are going to choose the lightning strike. Because now it does really nice AoE like damage. And lightning with lightning. Kind of like. I'm not sure if mechanically this is a thing, but it seems like it synergizes. Maybe because it's just, you know, the same effect or same elements and in my head is just wow more lightning you know the more lightning the better oh okay another ability cool and the flame strike is it's a really interesting one because see i just accidentally ran into those uh slimes and the flame strike kind of saved me from a hit because it was it was not on cooldown dragon's breath so now we are doing the Fire, 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 fire and lightning together. It's like flame 
Flame Storm. Is is it flame? Yeah, I think. Yes, uh, ring blades and the arcane splinters. Ring blades are not something I would uh, choose for a sorceress. M maybe it's you know s some hidden synergy with that, or it's a cool one. But caster is having like metal uh, stuff blades uh, coming out of their hands. No, I don't think so. More like a rogue or a archer or something. Like, or a warrior. And of course I always like to break the meta or play, you know, un, uh, unefficiently. Because the power fantasy is always cool, but now we are trying to... You know, Astronomer's Orb... Nah, I think the Radiant Aura is going to be great. And now we are not showcasing the, the inefficiency. We are trying to... You know, unlock the full potentials of this character. That's why we changed back to the fast cast cast of the stuff. Now I am trying to get the magnet, so uh, we will have a few levels, and th and then I think we we are kind of safe to save safe to say that uh, this is a viable thing now and we can if if not killing you know the boss but uh, just you know we can keep up keep it up until the end of the level and yeah may maybe we can kill the boss as well not sure because you know it does uh, a lot of damage with the with the charging abilities, but you know, if we get close and deal nice amount of fire damage to it, hmm, not sure. Maybe it's a it's a doable thing. Okay, let's see if any items. Oh, electrostatic threads charges up when you move and fully charge emits an electric shock wave that damages and electrifies enemies. We do not have this, so I'm going to choose that, and uh, you know what, let's try it, let's try it how it works, and then I'm just going to send back, send it back to with the wheel. I don't see, I don't see the, you know, the effect, which one, oh, this one, I guess, yeah, because the... You know, the Radiant Aura does not do this uh, explosion type of effect. It's just, uh, it just radiates. Wow. Looks cool, like we have two of these fail saves. We have this Flame Strike, if someone comes near, then we can blast their head off. Um, and also... This boot is just, uh, you know, just exploding after a while. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's summon the golem. Because, of course, sorcerers can summon as well. So, sorceries? Is it like... Yes, I guess. No, because it's not an X. Sorceries. So, sorceresses? No. So Sorcery? Eh, I don't know. A typical sorceress. Okay, let's uh, let, let's go with this one. It uh, does not sound uh, lame this way. Ooh, okay. Nice placement, Mr. Slime. Okay, base force. Ooh, a lot of enemies, a lot of enemies. It's going to be interesting. Let's increase the golem's attack. Electrify chance. Okay, a lot of cool stuff. Hmm. I quite like this combination, if you ask me. So, like, damage. But wait, is it still... Yeah, it's still alive. Because it's getting, you know, like, uh, smaller and smaller by killing it or taking it down. 
Okay, so let's make way a little bit and then try to kill this one. I mean, make it slow. Not slower, smaller. Slower as well, but smaller, more likely, lightning. Genius. Okay, can you... Can you die, please? Yes. Okay, let's get rid of these first. But of course, it's in the poisony pool. Okay, not anymore. Flame ability. Okay, so... Uh, scatter sparks when the attack hits the burning enemy, triggers an explosion. Yes, please. So more explosions. Now we are having the electrical discharge and then the fiery one as well move speed and health i think we need some some extra help now and thanks to that we killed a lot of enemies so some nice levels are going to come in in a short period of time why the nice harp is playing in the background I do think this playlist is a real cool one. I'm going to use this for the next few videos, I guess. And then I I found another one. If you have any suggestions until they, you know, solve my stuttering problem, I am up to I mean open to any suggestions based on the music. Ooh, okay, so now they are Kind of like circling us. Like vultures, clay vultures. Okay, let's get this upgrade, if we can. Uh, crit bonus. Yes. Crit is always great for a spellcaster. Okay, 11 minutes in the round, and I think it's uh, getting pretty chaotic, so... I really hope that we can... we can pull this off. The flame strike is definitely doing its, uh, its best. It's just really awesome how... you know, it clears the V. Okay, uh, lightning strike ability, so plus one lightning is uh, coming down. Okay. Oh, here we have this cool one. Let's get some extra hits. It's getting a bit crowded, in my opinion. So definitely a really interesting character to play, not you know like a standard one that uh, we played in the game before. It's really different from the warlock, so I'm really happy. Oh, alms or health? Mm, you have learned all these to learn. Oh, there's to learn for now. Okay, sure, get the get the potion because we need to survive. So could have taken the money instead, but no. We just have to survive this round, so... The immediate bene benefits uh, were a bit more important than some monetary stuff. So we maxed out all the abilities that we can have, so it's interesting. So we won't be able to upgrade any of those stuff. I mean, not by picking up an ability or killing, an killing a boss. But of course, by levels, we can still get it, so we get them. But... It's not the same, of course. Okay, let's get the... let's get rid of the guy. The big head. Okay, deal a lot of electrified damage in one round. Great. Oh, no. Oh, wait, still, we still can... Uh, learn stuff. Wait, so why? Well, maybe it was because 
it was placed out there by default so it has like a lesser potential okay interesting always always learning something about the game or maybe that was just pure speculation so I don't know I don't know what to think to be honest okay attack speed I think I'm going to have one of my new favorite characters in the game for a long time. So I'm going to get all the items that can be used real well with this character and trying to craft some some cool builds. Because this one is just really fun to play, like the lightning stuff that comes out from her hands and just you know hitting all the enemies around it. It's just really great. Was the crackling stuff lightning strike sure more lightning the best I'm not sure if there's a viable way to do like a full lightning sorceress in the game right now I'm not sure what other items you know support lightning explosive strike yes please just you know talking about lightning and here we have some explosive strikes great one area area is something that I'm not not pretty sure how it works maybe I have to reread it sometimes because it's just I'm not sure if I can you know increase the area of all my spells all my abilities or it's just stuff that is already has an area effect I'm not sure so how about getting this item here cool uh, lightning strike as well yes ooh cool force wait we got uh, we got hit some region uh, lightning strike ability increase as well Attack speed. Oof. I just, you know, idle there one second too late. And uh, they hit us. Damn it. Okay, let's get rid of this one. If we can. It's cool, a lot of effects. I really like that I do not don't have any like epileptic stuff because that would be a little bit problematic. Okay, some levels. Uh, I would say radiant aura increase. Oh wait a second, they're dealing a lot of damage to us. That's not funny. These skeletons are really fast. I don't like this damage Ooh, another ability blazing amber fall awesome oh wait a second we have the knight from the third level okay that's or I mean similar to the dude from the third level no same enemies we have the, the crossbow man okay I do think that uh, the end is kind of near, but you know, just let's fight until we can. Uh, create bonus. Who's hitting me? I mean, what's going on? Yeah, the charging one that they do is just... It looks really awesome, but also really annoying. It's not easy to get away from them. Ah! Okay, that's it. Yep. We got cornered. Damn it. 
Yeah, but it's definitely, definitely a cool one. Oh, but we lost the... You know, we lost the boots. So that's a shame. But, you know, we will get it. I mean, I get it off stream and... Uh, hopefully I can do some uh, nice builds around this character. Because it is a plenty of fun to play. So how about... Uh, okay, we mixed out. Let's mix... Let get some force to the soup. Okay, we can get like extra... Electrified damage since we unlock this and I, I know I should have you know unlocked the revives, but no I just didn't want to wait a second. We have a Wait a second. We have another character that I haven't uh, noticed beast huntress Because I I've seen the dog just you know idling Here alone and I was thinking okay, maybe this is some kind of clickbait or bait stuff for the next character But seems like we have another one guys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine already. And based on all the, you know, all the space here, uh, I have a suspicion that this is not the last one we can unlock. And this is still an early access game. So thank you very much. This was a, like more like a standard showcase of what a character can do. Nice lightning strikes combined with all the cool elements and all the great stuff. Thank you much for joining. If you like the game or if you haven't tried it, let's go and check out the description because there's the Steam link. It's currently on discount. It's $4 instead of 5 So it's basically a steal by default, but now it's a bigger steal. If <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get you get what I want to say. If you like the videos, please do give it a nice thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. 300 is my new goal and we are steadily going to get it. Thank you very much and see you really soon in Halls of Torment.